right. We're just gonna laugh the whole time. Hi, Mary. Hey, how are you? Good. It's good to have you here. <laughs> Thank you for having uh, me out here. Of course. I appreciate it. Of course. Um, welcome, wine snobs, to another edition of the Beaten Path. We today we are at Najar. Yes. Vineyards. Bravo. And uh, it's way off the beaten path. It's literally at the end of it. <laughs> As I found out the first time I was here yep. a couple months ago. Um, and you know, um, about almost 10 years ago, mm -hmm. uh, somebody gave me uh, one of your wines mm -hmm. and said, oh, you have to, you have to check this winery out, mm -hmm. you know? And so it's been on my list. Um, this whole time, mm -hmm. and it wasn't until a couple months ago and that I uh, stopped by. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry it took me so long. That's okay. <laughs> you know, you were worth the wait. <laughs> we, I noticed because you, we were following each other for a long time on social media. Yeah. You would always like our posts, we like your posts. So when you walked through that door, and then we looked and you handed your card, all of us just. <gasps> I it's know. him. He's yeah. here. So thank you for coming back. I know. I usually try to fly under the radar. No, 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 not here. <laughs> We're not here. You snuffed me out. You're right away. <laughs> I was like, oh, crap, spotlight all of a sudden. <laughs> but that was fun. Yeah. Um, but you know, one of the things that um, kind of, I've I'd heard a lot of good things about, um, you know, uh, Najar wines, mm -hmm. uh, but I, I don't think I was quite prepared for how good I would find them. Yeah. And how much I would I would enjoy the wines, um, so that really kind of you know was a very pleasant surprise. Yeah, I remember you did say that. <laughs> um, yeah. And and I, I pretty much liked and enjoyed everything on the lineup um, that day, and and I took some back and uh, did some reviews, and each one has been really nice. Um, you know, I, I found them very terroir driven and faithful to the region at large. So well, that, that means was very a lot nice. coming from you. Yeah, you. so I think you guys are doing a fantastic job. Thank you. So, the main purpose about of, of this segment mm -hmm. is to you know shine a light off the beaten path mm -hmm. on interesting wineries, wineries I find are you know really doing a great job of making these small batch production interesting wines, mm -hmm. uh, faithful to the region. Um, so, why don't you tell us a little bit about Najar Vineyards? Oh my! <laughs> Would you, how far do you want me to start? Like, <laughs> look, we really try to make. Uh, wines made from the grapes that really speak to the terroir of okay. where they are. And that was the idea of when my father-in-law and mother-in-law, they planted about 60 acres in several phases mm -hmm. in 1998. Their aim when they hired a consultant from UC Davis uh, to find where to plant the grapes and where to you know, have the, um, a vineyard was that they wanted to be the growers, the number one growers in all of California and beyond of the um, premium wine grapes okay. um, and our grapes have been sold in, to Napa, to Sonoma, um, I mean th th they really, uh, they grow, the varietals that we pick are the ones that truly thrive yeah. in this elevation, they love the hot, hot days and the cool, cool nights. It's a reason why we don't really have a Chardonnay over here uh, is because it's too hot. We can grow a Chardonnay, we love to drink Chardonnay, but it won't be the best Chardonnay. Yeah. Whereas the varietals we have, like Sangiovese, Petite Syrah, Syrah, uh, Barbera, they're the ones that do the best in this elevation. They love the hot days, they love the cool nights. So we, for example, the ones we grow over here, they're all Southern European varietals. And why are they Southern European varietals? Uh, Bordeaux, the Rhone uh, varietals, Italian. It's because if you look at the equator where we are here, yeah. it's very similar to where Southern uh, France is and Italy. So th those varietals really thrive. And that's why we make, an, hands down, the best Sangiovese in California, I will say it right now. <laughs> I will say it and I will back it up. All right. Just come on down, I'll give you a free taste. And if this is not the best Sangiovese brand, Sergio Vesey Petit Sarai's to die for. We make a great Barbera and, 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 you know, there's a lot of, we have blends, we have uh, straight up varietals, you know, uh, and then you've tried also the reserves that we really reserve the best blocks on the vineyard to go in our reserve program. Cool. So um, how much of the estate is dedicated to your production and how much um, to, you know, is, uh, um, contract or sold out? So you know we have 60 acres and more and more and more we were keeping and us ramping up and ramping up and then what happened with COVID and then what happened with yeah. the, the rut in the sales of grapes yeah. so now there's a lot of you know as a lot of grape growers will know the market was not very good you yeah. know and there's the, the grape sales have slowed down yeah. so you know we we farm 
uh, to accordingly. We yeah. farm according to what we're going to sell. We farm gotcha. according, and then the rest we just you know take good care of and make sure that it's still healthy and well. Nice. Uh, what's your overall production like? We do about five thousand cases a okay. year, so it's still pretty small. We yes. still have nice control over it. The beauty is that we have we own the vineyard. So we control the quality from the grape to the glass, yeah. from the vine to the wine, yeah. you know, the whole thing. And we farm for about three tons to the acre. Okay. So we really go around and drop the fruit when it's time to do it. It's heartbreaking because you see all that fruit, yeah. but you know what's going to come out. Yeah. It's going to be, voila, yeah. it's the best wine yeah. <laughs> on, your, on your chest. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, that's that's awesome. How long has Najar been around? So Najar started in 1998. So my father and my mother-in-law, Mike and Diane Najar, they had a one-acre hobby vineyard in Saratoga, okay. and they found that they really enjoyed, you know, the lifestyle. Some winemaker had approached them and said, you know, we'll take care of it. We'll give you wine in the end, and they liked it and they had fun. So when he retired from Hewlett Packard, um, they went uh, on a quest to find, you know, with the consultant to see, you know, that's yeah. what we want to do. We want to grow grapes. Yeah. My mother-in-law says. She had to keep him busy. Yeah. So, you know, it depends who you listen to. He's a workaholic. So they ended up buying a house, the house up on the hill over there. Cool. And they started um, growing, uh, 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 putting in with contracts. Yeah. You know, the Grenache, the Sangiovese, the, uh, you know, all of these, the uh, um, Senzo, the Cunoise. The, yep. So they would put them in with contracts. And that's why a lot of people say, well, wait a minute. Why do you have 17 different varietals? This is yeah. very odd. Well, because it came in, this was prima, primarily a vineyard, yeah. grape growing business before it started making wine. We yeah. finally convinced them in 2003. We said, look, all these Napa, uh, Sonoma, everybody's taking our grapes, putting their name on it. Nothing wrong making with it. Making amazing Merci wines. Beaucoup. Yes. Thank you very much. <laughs> but hey, we have a lot. Why don't we do make some and put our label on it? Yeah. And this is how it, it started. Nice. And it's a family business and the family all started it. Awesome. Yeah. Wow, well, bravo, Najar nice. family. Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, one of the things uh, in some of our back and forth uh, uh, since the last time I was here, one of the questions that I kept asking uh, that some of the wine snobs kept asking was like, where is she from? Where is she from? <laughs> yes. Where is she from? Oh, so, so we so speak is, French, yes, you and speak, I, yeah, right? Wait, wait. <laughs> and we're, we're from the same neighborhood. That's why we click yes. so well, you know? <laughs> so, um, so, I was born in England. Um, and then I grew up in Kuwait and then I got married in uh, Montreal and then lived in New York and then I finally ended up here uh, for many years. I, I married a very good salesman who took yeah. me out of the city and put me over here, but I love it. So I'm originally uh, Egyptian and Greek. Oh, wow. So Mediterranean, you yes. would say, from both. Uh, and then that's why, you know, we... Yes, we, <laughs> and, the, like, and the Najar family is... Oh. Najar family. Father-in-law, Mike, uh, Mike Najar, who founded this place with Diane Najar, he yeah. was born in Egypt. Okay. The name Najar is originally Lebanese. It okay. means carpenter, if okay. you translate it. Uh, his mother is Italian. My mother-in-law is French-Canadian from Montreal. Oh, wow. So we just drink and it's just It's a, it's, it's a worldly <laughs> crew. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I like that. I like yeah. that. Very rich. So there you have it, wine snobs. Those who are asking. Yes, there you go. <laughs> She's a bit of... Everything. everything. Yeah, a bit of everything. <laughs> but mostly Mediterranean. Yes, yes. thank you. Yes. <laughs> and if you're picking up an accent, it's French. Yes. Oui. <laughs> <laughs> Et si parle français, you can say hi to her as bonjour. well. Bonjour. <laughs> Just say bonjour. Bonjour. So, <laughs> yeah. so uh, today, what's, uh, what's the occasion today? So what's the occasion is that in May, we kick off our music season. Now we were... COVID rocked our world last year. We weren't yeah. really able to do anything. We had to cancel the whole season. Now everything's coming back. And if you're wondering why we're not wearing masks, we're fully vaccinated. Yes. And our president <laughs> took his mask off, so we're taking our mask off. Yeah. So we're good. But um, you know, uh, this year we just we just want to live. We yeah. want to make up for 2020 that just yeah. we got robbed. Right. I say, you know, when I have my birthday this year, I'm not growing any year older because I didn't right. use my last year, right? We right. didn't use it. Yeah. Why should I get a year older? I'm can turning, I get a credit? Can I? Yeah. You know, I'm turning the same age. Yeah. So you know what? Uh, we have in May all the way through October. We have our music season yeah we kick it off every Saturday night we have events so we have dueling pianos we have bands we have duos we have karaoke we have just go to our website <laughs> so najarvenues.com go under the shop tab and you'll see all yeah. of the events so every Saturday night basically our tasting room is from 12 o'clock to 5 o'clock yeah. Friday Saturday and Sunday 
you can come in, have a flight of wine, you can do a glass of wine or a bottle of wine. Now, five o'clock on Saturday, shut down, mm -hmm. open back up, All right. and we party. <laughs> so that becomes like, a, you know, yeah. a, you yeah. know, buy the glass and buy the bottle. Yeah. We have food trucks on Saturdays. Today we have two because, you know, we have a nice size crowd. Lots of social distancing for those who are worried. Look behind me. Go anywhere you want. Yes. If this is too close, come sit here in the fountain. You want to go in the vineyard? Go in the vineyard. But I mean, there's no way. You, yeah, if you don't right. want to be close to people, you don't have to be close to people. Yeah. I mean, there's people in general that don't want to be close to each other anyway. So. Yeah. yeah right. I don't know, so they want to be. But there's plenty of room for social distancing. And what we do is we have a comfortable number on the patio. And when our patio seats sell out, we start selling lawn seats. Okay, cool. So that's what we do to make yeah, sure everybody's comfortable. Yeah, it looks really nice set up. I'm and looking you're staying. forward. Yes, I am. The Oh, I know He's better staying. than yes. <laughs> I'm going to film him and I'll share with you guys. <laughs> so, um, you know, one of the things I wanted to talk about was, you know, after coming, making it out of the last year, yeah. <clears throat> one of my biggest worries, you know, because I love these yeah. small, smaller wine uh, winemakers and winemakers as yourself. Um, and I was really worried, you know, when the lockdown started, you know, if, if most, if my favorite winemakers were going to survive. But as I started doing more of these off the beaten path segments, I start realizing that they were actually doing well. They're doing okay, given the, the you know, the, the, the considering everything. Um, and I have to say, looking back now, I'm really proud of you guys and, and the job you did when, when this whole thing started. I just, all I saw, I didn't hear people. I just saw people mobilize, yeah. reinvent their entire business models. And I noticed you, you maintained a very vibrant, you know, a community around your wines, yeah. and 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 that's one of the things that stood out the most, apart from, aside from the wines, yeah. but stood out the most. And and I really, that was really uplifting, and and it was very nice. So you know, good job. Thank you. Proud Thank of you, you guys, so and you. and the job you did making it through this, you know, terrible year. Yeah. You know, by tough. all accounts. But it was tough for everybody. So yeah. you know, it's not just us. Yeah, so yeah. that just means I get to continue having good wine. Yes, you know? for I would sure. Have ni I would have nightmares and wake up in the middle of the night. Like, Wait, where am I going to get my wines from? No, <laughs> I think everybody's tried their best and, you know, yeah. did a good job. Yeah, yeah. so bravo. Merci. Merci beaucoup. Yeah. So um, you're pretty busy today. Yes. Um, I don't want to keep you uh, too long, but um, what do you think? What do you think? You want to walk in the vineyard? Yeah, why not? Okay, let me go change shoes. I can't, right. do, can't do the heels in the vineyard. I knew you'd want to walk in the vineyard. We can't because the grapes yeah. over here are all the grapes that source our uh, white wines. They're right here. Okay. So we can go and walk over there. Cool. All right, so these yes. are over here. Yeah. We have the Rusan. Are you filming? Yes. The Rusan, oh, Rusan <laughs> Marsan, uh -huh. and uh, Viognier. But we also have the Muscat because okay. a few years ago we grafted over some of them to make Muscat. Because Muscat is my mother-in-law's favorite wine. She absolutely loves it. So what did my father-in-law do? Ripped out, grafted over, I don't know how many rows over here, or a block, and made um, Muscat. He planted Muscat for her. Yeah. How's that for a present for your wife? <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, honey. And then he told her, that's why the Muscat, our Muscat bottle, we're out of it now. It's really popular. Nice. We um, have it, and the label is like a sunflower. Yeah. Because what he did is he told her, he said, okay, now I'm gonna go pick your label and do that. So he not only grafted and planted all this for her, but then he made her pick her own label. That's why it looks different from any label. Oh, nice. So we're gonna have Muscat for sure next year because we have to pick it this year and we're planning on making some more. Muscat Canelli. Ah. Yeah. Do you what? Can I just show you? Look at the babies. Oh, I know. You see the babies? <laughs> Aren't they beautiful? Yeah. Yeah, they're gonna grow up and be delicious. Mm. We're yeah, gonna massacre okay. them and crush them. <laughs> <laughs> make make blood of the gods. Make blood of the gods. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so this is all white over here. If we walk a little more over there, then there's the Cabernet, uh, Cabernet Franc. Okay. We also have an orchard in the vineyard. When the fruit comes out, oh my goodness, we have figs, fig trees. We have um, uh, persimmons, uh, pom pomegranate. So, and then up there on this hill where you see all these vines on the hill, that's all Petit Syrah. Oh, nice. oh, and you know what? Because they're on a hill, and I'm sure your wine snob know, the vines are stressed. Yeah. So you know that stressed the vines water, make... The, the soil drains down, yeah. So that way they don't get too much water. Yeah. And that's why they're a lot like darker. Our, our Petit Syrah is like ink. It will stain your teeth, <laughs> it will stain your clothes, <laughs> it will stain your, everything. Your hands when you open the cork, and it's... Did you try our Petit Syrah? 
Tsura or not? Yeah, I did when I tasted it. When you tasted it? I haven't done a focused review yet. Oh, Petit um, Tsura. Petit Tsura is, is really that, good. And I'm guessing that's uh, no small component of the Beast. It is which a small is, one. Yes, because the Beast is a blend. Yeah. But the Petit Tsura is just big and bold. Yeah. Thank you. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> bold. I love, I love my wines big and bold. Yes, and balanced. Well, of course, yeah, yes. the triple B. Yes. So the Petit Sera is that. I mean, it, the reserve super. A Petit Sera has won so many awards before. It's gotten 92 uh, in, in Wine Enthusiast. I mean, it's, it is, I don't know what to say. The wines are good and I'm glad that you tried them and you, you like them because they're my, our babies. So yeah. we love them no matter what. <laughs> but they're true, they're very good. And you yeah. have to come out here and believe it, so. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, doing focused look at those, all the other ones. I mean, they've, they've been sitting in my pipeline, yeah. you know, this whole time. And I'm, I'm just like, oh, I got to get to it. got to yeah. get to it. It's a lot of homework. Yeah, <laughs> you do it. You do such a great job, though. Oh, thank you. No, you do, because you truly give, uh, you describe them so well. And every wine, like I know ours, but I read the other ones that you do. You yeah. make me want, like, to try some of them, too, <laughs> you know? Well, that was the idea behind it was to, uh, to, um, uh, open my cellar mm -hmm. and all the interesting little wines that I'll run into and open those up to the world yes. and and because I felt there's got to be people out there who don't just want to go to the to the grocery store yes. they want something interesting yes. unique with a special story, right with a story yes. wine with a story yeah. and so you know I I had had I'd been doing this for you know probably the better part of the last two decades and it's only a few years ago that it hit me like so open it to the world yes. and that's why I started Wine Snob. Well you also, you put into words what we can't. So we'll taste the wine and we know we love it, but then you'll start to describe it and it will be like a story unfolding in our mouths. You're like, oh, <laughs> there it is, there's the battle he's talking about. Or I, there's the pinch of the lips, or yeah. there's that, you know, you, yes. you put it into words, which most people cannot. Yeah, it's, it, I, I, I think of it as uh, love letters to wines. Yes! I love it. That is what it is. Yeah, very good. Wow, this is gorgeous. Um, so the estate goes all the way up. All the way. The vines go all the way, even beyond the hill. Okay. So, and it, beyond the hill, what you can't see is where Cabernet Sauvignon is planted. Okay. Because it's on the northern facing slope, because it's a little cooler. Yeah. So it doesn't like the, the direct heat that yeah. the Sangiovese Barberas, but all these things are getting over here, the Petit Sera. So the yeah. Cabernet Sauvignon, we put it on the other um, the other side of the hill because of the north facing slope. Yeah. And then, yeah, and then the Petit Sera. And then up, up on the other side, there's a Malbec, there's the Viognier, there's the Mourvedre, there's the, what I said, Cunoise, I think saint so and all of these things. Nice. I love it. I love it. I'm looking forward to taking a peek over the top yes. there. Yes. Yeah. Next time you come, we'll go ride the quad or the yes. thing and yeah. we'll go together and I'll show you around. Sounds like a plan. Yes. I'll take you up on all it. Right. All right. Yeah, we'll show you all of the rest of the vineyards. <laughs>
Okay. Let's do it. Thank you all for watching. <laughs> I hope to see you guys. Absolutely. Just mention the white snob. We'll give you a, a nice discount. Ooh, now you're talking to the yeah. wine snob. <laughs> Just come here, mention the wine snob, and we'll take good care of you. Yeah. Let's do it. All right. All right. Shall I go get my shoes? Yes. Okay. And then.